Hi again, Lucy. Right now you're enjoying the night of your life. You've gone to go and see Taylor Swift. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm here. I've had an interesting night. I want to tell you, but it's better if I do it on Messenger. <laughs> interesting night, to say the least. And it's just, you know when stuff happens and you just have to remind yourself, look, don't overthink. Just go with it and it'll be okay, like... Because, you know, okay, hypothetically, let's say this isn't what I'm, I've gone through, but let's say hypothetically someone does something and they could have any motive for it. They may not even have a motive. And you could sit there and you could think of a hundred different reasons why they've done something. And you could ask them and even then there's only so much, you know? There's only so much they could say. Um, you could ask. You just have to sometimes go with the flow, I suppose, which is, is cliche, but yeah, I'm speaking in very vague terms. If you ask me, I mean, maybe I could explain. Birds, it's like the movie, they're so terrifying. I love it when people are goofy about shit, man. Just really fucking goofy and earnest, it's like the best. I mean, sometimes it's not the best, but anyway. No, I shouldn't say that. It's always the best. Okay, so basically, we've edited out, and by edited, I mean I've literally recorded about ten different... I've probably recorded about two hours, and this is the first one that I think might actually go up, just for loads of reasons. Ed um, sound, mixing, fuck. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Comment, random comments. These school, these schools is an example of pareidolia. That's something I said in another one. I don't think there's anything I could interact with there, so let's just get fucking immersed. I mean, it is about... Okay, I can't check now because I'm playing, but I'm going to say half ten at night. Badass, alone, dark in my room. Because before I was having trouble getting immersed. I mean, until I saw this creepy woman. Um, and if I see her again, yes, I will, I will get very unnerved. It's just, it's just a shame when you make you make mistakes around a person and you just fuck everything up. <laughs> I don't know if you can really call them mistakes though, it's just like, yeah, I have things going on <laughs> that have just happened. Anyway, um, the paintings, another thing from a previous episode, there is a theme of ham. We have seen 50 fucking pictures of ham. <laughs> Um, but as as, uh, as I said before in another one you might never hear unless next time you come to mind we just start playing random ones wow that I got distracted um, there was a steam review right where they said this game is shit because you can only run for 10 steps before you run out of breath that image is fucking sick isn't it um, we've, had, we've left like the section in ward and I feel like we're somewhere else now we're like in some kind of gothic mansion and he said about 10 steps and it's more just the point that that is the that was designed for a purpose and I'm I always I get the impression that everything in this game is here for a purpose they've they fought it out very well and it, it to a good effect the use of the red like like the movie Rumblefish you know the only thing in it that's red it adds to it and of course it's it's having a different meaning but it's at least in, in this game the point I think is just how intrusive it is it's how it's kind of like the goal but it's like an I want to do art critique on it it's, it's as if it's like um, I don't know I don't, I, I don't do art critique necessarily <laughs> in fact never I try um, the red the red nature of it is just I mean, I know what you're thinking, Lucy. You're thinking Red by Taylor Swift. <laughs> you're thinking Red by RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, <laughs> delusion. 
I don't know. I just, I love it. I think, at the end of the day, whether I can analyse it deeply or not, I think the fact that, look at the screen now, that it just looks cool. I think, to be fair, the candle, it's awesome, but my favourite part is probably, and this is going to sound bad, just the gore. And I think it's maybe, I don't know, the connection between those two things and how they can intrude on each other. I don't know, I'm going in circles. And it probably doesn't make sense. Probably doesn't make sense. I hope you can hear this. Only the sound and my voice doesn't make s Um, yeah. Ham. Um, that one's nice. Huh? Haven't come across anything yet, so brace yourself. Because when this game goes hard, it will ter it will terrify you, <laughs> or at least. Um, I remember when I saw this four years ago. I, w I tried to watch some gameplay, kind of the opposite of what I'm doing now. In the, I used to try and find, not always, but a lot of the time, gameplay that had no commentary. And I could barely fucking watch it. So this is a bit different in that I'm actually playing it. And if you, honestly, I don't know how because I've said so many times in my life that how I think video games trump horror movies so much. And I can't watch horror movies. <laughs> so, yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm going around in circles in it. In it. Normally there's a woman with an axe when I go around places like this. <laughs> Just like real life. No. Oh, fuck off, she's here. And fuck off, I didn't have a bad breath. Ah, oh, that wasn't nice. That really wasn't nice. I ran out of breath at exactly the wrong moment there. Ugh, fucking hell. The fact that I think I played most of this game without recording has had this weird effect on my feeling and narration whilst playing this in the fact that I don't have I don't have it posted so it doesn't give me that perspective of oh at the end of it I can just maybe skip through the 10 minutes I mean quite frankly I'd, I'd be surprised if you're watching this Lucy still <laughs> I would be surprised um, is she here again? She's, I think she might be the worst one yet in my opinion um, I think I can avoid it. I did find a way to. You missed it. I mean, if I ever learnt how to edit, right, I can do a little clip of unedited footage. Little gems, right? Little gems to me. Of when I first saw this woman. I don't know. We'll work it out. Okay, I've tried to be a radio DJ. I've never gotten past the... Um, getting in the studio part <laughs> I don't know how to put it um, I've been trained but I never actually w went on air and I've signed up multiple times and I never actually did it and it's just interesting doing this because it's kind of like the whole mix of yeah this is my own thing but you don't want radio silence but it doesn't really matter does it anyway <laughs> You see, I'm, I'm thinking of putting a kooky title, but I imagine you click on it and it just won't be that good. Um, kooky title is in like all capital letters. Letters, letters. Miles Davis is innocent. I got that from someone else. I just think it's so fucking good. So clever. G.G. Allen, he's another interesting lad, isn't he? I was reading on him before. I haven't I haven't done the full Wikipedia read, that'll be or YouTube documentary or whatever or videos. I'm just I'm just scratching the surface and can I just say GG Allen scratching the surface, fucking hell it's interesting. It's terrible but it's interesting. It is so out there. He's a musician and to quote Eric Andre actually, it's stuff like, you know, he wanted to legalise rape and he, he he did performances and there's images of him performing and he just a bit like this game, just had blood all over his face. Um, interesting to know. Or not. Um, who did that quote? Something I reflect upon. 
with a pinch of salt. You know, small minds think of people, medium like, like events, large ideas. I don't know. I, I'm honestly, I'm just voicing that. I think if I had to guess, I'd say Ro- Eleanor Roosevelt, but that's probably bullshit. Um, yeah, I'm not that. I don't know. Okay, I'm going around the circles. I'm not. I'm not paying attention. I've been here before because I recognise the bear. Recent thoughts I've had. Ooh, what beautiful eyes! A lot of men in paintings, right? That's thing. I want to go into the story, right? And it was funny because. Um, um <laughs> okay, let's go back for a second. In one of my recordings, there was this really fucking sick cutscene, and then I referenced it in the second cutscene, but I referenced it out of place, so it looked like I wasn't talking about the game, I was talking about something that had happened to me. So what happens in the game, at various points, you keep meeting this woman, and, it's, and every time you meet her, you're like, no, you're my sister. But the first time, it's like, you're seeing her, and she's a psychiatrist and then the second time you're seeing her and she is your wife that you're sleeping with but you think she's your sister and I just went on I don't know you can see where this is going but um <laughs> yeah it was just it was funny um when I heard it back not when I not even when I was recording it just I listened to that little bit back and I was like oh that's funny but the thing is I can't even listen to myself back so I don't uh, good luck Lucy good luck on this one um, it's more about the gameplay, isn't it? And but not, but I'm, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. A lot of it is just going through random doors, and I'm probably circling in on her. Let's just go. Let's do what they say you do when you go to a maze, and always turn. Is it left? Is it left? Always turn left, and eventually you'll leave the maze. That might be rubbish. Um, I think I tried it once, and it might have been. I don't know. That's more. I think it might be only Greek mazes. I don't know. That probably not though. Probably not. I've been here before. If I see that woman again, then I know I'm on the right tracks. I can't open it. I need to cut off soon. I'll, I'll try and find a decent point and then condense it and upload it. And maybe once you'll be able to actually see one recording. <laughs> that is. If I, I'm gonna progress. Hopefully, see something cool to show you about this game other than me just walking like a walking simulator and then yeah we'll go from there I swear to god I'm just going in circles on her I mean it does sum up the game title never ending nightmares doesn't it see that painting maybe I'm not paying enough attention but that doesn't seem as familiar a lot of paintings are repeating though to be fair Ham again, the ham theme. Okay, we're downstairs. I wonder how they created this. Like, if when they were designing it, they actually had a house and on a table on different pieces of paper and they were connecting it. I don't know. Hmm. I mean, that has to be something different, doesn't it? That has to be. Okay. That- I swear to God, I've been in this room. I'm overthinking it too much. I mean, yeah. At least I'm being immersed. Just, I want something, man. Give me, give me a bone. Uh, at least I'm not absolutely shattered. I just had some of my rhubarb crumble homemade. Fucking great. Absolutely delicious. You see, I've been, I got told I didn't put enough sugar in it, but the first time I made it, I felt like I put too much... Oh my gosh, I'm a middle-aged woman. Um, <laughs> but sometimes it is good to talk about those things, isn't it? I don't normally... Um, not even passing judgment on what I just said, I just don't normally talk about stuff like that. Only to you, Luce. Because <laughs> hopefully when you come down, you'll actually be able to have some and I won't have polished it off, but... By the rate it's going, Lucy, there isn't much chance for you now. <laughs> it's lasted a while. I did actually do an absolute shit ton. And I've got, from this like gardening-esque job I've been doing, not that it's gardening, it is a bit, but 
just let me do something. I want to interact. What can I do in this room? It's like some kind of Celtic symbol. Well, anyway, that image. Um, nothing. There is absolutely nothing. Say it again. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. What is it good? Oh, absolutely nothing. Say it again. <laughs> okay, did we just cut a rug here and fucking quit? Because this isn't going well, is it? I mean, it adds, it does add to it. I do enjoy the pacing. I mean, this is, it's funny because, like, in the last, in the last two recordings I did, which I don't think I'll be putting up, like, um, in the last two, loads of shit happened and it just kept happening. It was fucking great. And now I'm playing it and it has just, it's good, it is good for pacing and tension and suspense, but it is also not as good for you to watch it because you can't see all the cool shit and art as much. Um, at the moment, we've got a candle, which is sick. Um, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, no, I'm going to cut a rug and quit for now.